now these are my top five apps and I'm gonna use the websites also so that way you guys can see how to find the cheap the cheapest airfare now this is something that I've actually done and I've a, I've been able to search all kinds of stuff and for me personally I've been able to get some really really good deals on airfare now if you want to travel and I know sometimes when you're working you got to save that vacation time and you got to save that money because sometimes airfare does get pretty expensive however there are ways that you can get flights to get more bang for your buck save some money save those nickels and dimes that you're always saving so um, and then one thing too is don't be afraid to book separate and I mean separate flights if you know you're going from LAX and you're going all the way over to Miami Airport search all the flights see if there's if there's one ways that are cheaper than stopping somewhere else and if there is a stop somewhere else see how much it is to fly from there to let's say Dallas directly and then the second flight from Dallas to Miami and I'm telling you you'll actually be shocked on how much money you could save sometimes a couple hundred bucks not only that don't be afraid also if you are doing a round trip to look one-way flights so let's just say you're like hey Ro I don't want to go from from LA to Chicago book that flight and then an hour later book my next flight from Chicago to Miami because of luggage because of that and I understand that there's so many there's so many reasons why not to do that and and the conveniency of like yes maybe it's an extra 50 bucks but I don't have to go out and get my luggage I don't have to go recheck my bags I don't have to go I get it however what you could do though is is you could book let's just say you're going to Miami you're going from LA to Miami you book your flight with whatever how many stops you have and then look and see how much it costs just that one way flight that way and then also separate one way from Miami back to LA sometimes you will find some cheaper flights now I am gonna come here and we are gonna go to the first one this is sky scanner now if you don't know about sky scanner check this out I'm gonna go let's just go ahead and do LAX and I am gonna do Miami just because you know it's clear across two different spectrums of the United States and I'm gonna go with one person now if I do do my search flights of course you know watch out for all the ads and everything you just gotta just keep your eye out here on the prize now here it says cheapest 223 and best price 425 that's because this is a non-stop so see how it's like a massive difference now a 15 hour flight is insane so let's look and see what it is so it looks like there is a stop so this is some things that you might want to take in consideration this one says the stop is in Las Vegas and it looks like it's an overnight flight. Now, would I do something like that? Of course. I would fly from LA to Vegas, which is about a 30 minute flight, hang out in Vegas for the night, you know, get a hotel maybe, get something really cheap and then just have fun and then continue my trip over to Miami and I can get there really early in the morning, which I'm completely fine with. Now, on the way back home, notice it says from 8 a.m. to 11.51 p.m., 18 hour flight on the way back home. People are going to say there is no way that I will do that. But if you look just a little bit lower, it says here there's a stop to Las Vegas from 610 to 254. A lot more reasonable for a few more bucks. And then what you could also do is you could mix and match some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do one way and we're going to look at just one way flights. The great thing is, is this can create a price alert for you. So if you are looking for something like this, you could create a price alert. So Skyscanner has been very great on doing some of that stuff. But I'm going to let you guys go ahead and play with this one. I know some people are going to say that's kind of insane that you would do that. Here's a nonstop flight for 265 guys. And if you want to go again, cheapest route, 112 bucks, you know, stop in Vegas. <laughs> so I'll let you guys go ahead and do that. Now my next one is going to be Google. They have a flight also. Um, this is crazy because I, I, I've used this and I've told people about like, hey, why don't you use Google? Because they have a lot of things here that, that you could search for. And of course, you know, you, you could pick your, you know, the calendar and it tells you here some of the cheapest days. I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and pick the exact same days and, you know, just the exact same as Skyscanner 
and look round trip 339 and i think round trip for this other one what might have been a little bit more 425 so there you go 339 round trip it's actually really really good and it's going through american airlines and of course they show you some cheaper options 234 they're just a lot of things here and then the great thing here is you could have you could put bags if you're going to put any bags how many stops you want which airlines you want to look through the price the times of coming out and then any connected airports if you want and of course they have more options here show separate tickets and any kind of hidden features um, google flights is really good just put google.com forward slash flights or just put google flights and you'll be able to see virtually everything that you would like and it's crazy because they include hotels and like anything that you want you could they have the explore button here and there's just tons of stuff here if you're not sure exactly what you want to do there it is a lot of good stuff now my next one has been a very big recommendation from a lot of people and it's called hopper you could do this from your phone you could send the app it's a send app to your phone and it's nice because you could also put reminders it also tells you when are the best times to fly when are the worst times to fly it tells you hey for the next couple days prices may vary might jump up might jump down um, so it's pretty cool how it kind of leads you where it says this is the best time to buy these flights so nowadays people say hey you know can i buy my flights on a tuesday wednesday it doesn't matter what day of week honestly anymore because of because now it's it's like this where there's so much technology out there back in the day a human used to do that not anymore so now my fourth app that i want to use here is going to be expedia now expedia has been super nice and the great thing is they have the bundle and save you could just do flights on its own there's just there, there's a lot of cool things that you can do, and I don't know why I'm, I keep thinking about Miami. I think just it's it's a little chilly in California right now, so I just want to get out of here. Um, but again, they have the same thing where you could look at the different price points here. So you know, if like for me, flying on weekdays are the best times to fly, and mainly that's because a lot of people like to fly on the weekends and Mondays, Tuesdays, sometimes even Wednesdays. People just don't want to take those flights. And if you really want to go thrifty, fly on a holiday. Like, believe that or not, fly on a holiday. You won't believe, like, like if you're like, well, you know, I, I've, I've flown for Christmas out to somewhere else and, and flights were very expensive. Um, and it's like, yeah, sure, you probably didn't fly on Christmas Day. You flew out a couple days before Christmas, which a lot of people do fly. But a lot of people also don't fly the day right after Christmas. And those flights are still pretty cheap. So just things to keep in mind, a couple tips in there, but look at these prices. Like everything is under the 420 something from uh, Skyscanner. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. It shows you tons of options. Now my next option that I'm gonna give you, my number five, and this has been a big one for me. I've, I've, I've always used this in the past. This is cheap, cheap O Air. And what these guys do, what, like well, what I really like about these guys, if I wanted to go a multi-city, Let's just say I want to go from LA to Miami and then I want to leave on the second and then it already automatically fills to Miami. But let's just say you're like, you know what, I'm going to be in Miami, but I'm going to be spending a lot of time there and then I'm going to end up um, in Orlando because I'm going to rent a car. I'm going to be driving. So you could put Orlando here and then let's just say you're like, hey, from there, I'm going to go to Chicago and then from Chicago, I'm going to go back to LAX. So from here, you could just choose the dates. Let's just, I'm just going to choose the ninth here. Then I'll just choose the 14th and search now. And this is crazy nice how it would search everything for you. And it'll look for multiple airlines, multiple stops, multiple deals, like just so much stuff. Now check this out. If I go to all these different stops here, I'm looking at 429, which is the same price as the other one. If I include um, Chicago, which is pretty nice. So like these deals here are just super great, super nice. And honestly, it, it, it's really not that hard to find some of these deals there. So these are my top five. You could put these on your app. You could put them on a website. Um, I, be I believe besides Hopper, Hopper is the only one that you have to put it on your cell phone. But with the rest of them, you could go either online or you could put it on your cell phone. Either way works fine. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm trying to give you guys some of the best deals, how it is that I travel, how it is that I get out. And these are the must have apps to have when you are traveling. 
and I'm, I'll go in a little bit more details later with how I really, really could get some good deals and how I could save more money in my pockets. Cause that's at the end of the day, you want to save as much money as possible when you're traveling because you work hard for your money. So you guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys soon.